Hi everyone, it's Xiao here. Uh, this is the second part of assembling the Z-axis. So um, for this part, um, assembling the Z-axis actually is quite short. So there are only two parts, uh, the previous part and this part. As I mentioned previously, um, to move the, the print, printing head up and down is through uh, is via two step motors, and they are two kind of like um, screw like uh, rods attached to those two motors, and when they rotate, and there's a mechanism to move the um, x axis up and down. They are plastic parts that are not 3D printed. They are, I think they are made from molding. And in this case, the two plastic, um, like screw-like um, nuts, uh, they are not 3D printed. So you have to remove them first. and then attach two um, caps to the motors. So the two caps are 3D printed. Yeah, although the assembling of this uh, of the Z axis is not is not too hard, but um, it takes time. Yeah. So it took me one hour to complete this step. Um, more than two, more than one hour. So if you count the previous video, I think. I think roughly it took me two hours for assembling the Z axis. So I put the 3D printer sideways, so the uh, support piece is protruding out of the desk. And then I can just insert the step motor from, from, the, um, from below, and then put the screws on the top to uh, secure the motors to the support.
and then just try to do the same for the other side. From the experience so far, I think the hardest part is, is to assemble the y-axis uh, until now. So you, when you init initially you try to assemble the whole frame, you want to level the frame and that, that was quite hard for me to do. And also you need to attach the belts to the step motor and everything. That that just hard. Okay. But for assembling the uh, the x axis and also the the z axis, um, they are not that hard. The next step is to um, attach the x-axis to the y-axis. You need to insert four nuts into the assembly of the x-axis. And the reason being is uh, you can attach the the two um, molded plastic like the the nuts type onto onto the x axis assembly. It's they are like a caps. I, I don't know what they are what they are used for. Maybe they are used to restrain the movements of the uh, z-axis.
the next step is to put the X assembly to the Y assembly. You need to um, basically rotate the the Y axis into the um, the holes of in the X assembly. But you need to be aware that you need to rotate them in the right direction. So initially, what why I first try to do it, I rotated in the wrong direction. I and then I was thinking why it took me so long to to put the to attach the x axis to the y axis, and later on I find out I rotated in the wrong direction. So you just need to be aware. Okay. You see, I was trying to attach them by couldn't do it. I was thinking what was going on. Yeah. The reason you need to rotate them to two of them simultaneously is to make sure they are level. So in the manual, it says that um, you need to make sure um, the x-axis is parallel to the frame. It's very hard to to do it uh, to to check it um, by your eyes. That that was hard, and also you need to adjust the the step motor. So the way I did that is is to use um, so I used a, a digital level because my desk was not was not level. So I I first determined uh, the levelness of the of the frame, and then put the digital level onto the X assembly. If they are if they show the same numbers, that means they're level. Uh, they are they are parallel to each other. So it was getting dark, so I switch on the lights. And then you um and then I inserted the remaining two rods, the steel rods, into uh, the uh, Y assembly, uh, the Z assembly. Okay. You need to make sure those two rods are inserted all the way into the the hole, the holes in the the two three D printed supports at the bottom. It was a bit hard, I guess, because when when you put everything together, everything a kind of a, a a kind of tight, so it's hard to it's sometimes hard to to push them to the right position. And this, I think, this is the last step. The last step is to put another three D printed part, three uh, D printed pieces. Basically, they secure the metal rod, um, and then you secure everything to the frame. Uh, the screws was getting really tight to do. Okay. So you just need to make sure everything are in everything are in the right position otherwise um, if if you find them hard to screw that means something was that means something is not correct you just need to ratify those issues
So I was unscrewing and unscrewing repeatedly. So you see, I was trying to push the rod um, downward to make sure they're in, in the correct position. And then, I screw, and then I tighten the screws again. So I was checking whether um, those parts are flash, flash flush with the, the frame. If they're flush with the frame, that means the or everything was correct installed correctly. Again, I was checking um, the levelness of the, the frame and the x-axis. So that's the assembled piece so far. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.